What is up guys, HBFC here and welcome to Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow, the second game in the Splinter Cell series which was released in, I think it was 2004, yeah I'm pretty sure it was 2004, it was like a couple of years after the uh, the first game. Now I personally do think this is better uh, than the first game, I mean it does play very similar, it didn't change too much about it, I guess it does have a bit of an expansion pack feel, but I still prefer it, I like the missions and there's some nice little, you know, additions they've added and stuff, some cool little moves for Sam. So, uh, anyway, what do you say? We'll just get this started straight away. So, um, here we go. Start the first level. Let's do it. tomorrow. All right, Welcome so this is kind of like a training mission, but it's sort of it's better than it was in the first game because it, it's like a sort of proper mission with a sort of sort of training chucked in as well, so it's not too bad. I'm just gonna talk over Lamb because there's nothing really to say apart from what you you know items do and stuff like that. But let's work on stealth. Great timing actually for me on this game, playing the PC version again. Um, but you may notice that this is the only Splinter Cell game that you can't download off Steam. And one of the reasons is because of the lighting. If you sort of try and play the game now on PC, you'll notice that there's no proper lighting and there's no proper shadows, which kind of ruins the game completely because they're a big part of Splinter Cell. And it's to do with the technology they used back then, um, which was only supported on the graphics cards that were out back then, like what? What are we on? A, a GeForce 4 or something? We're going way back, aren't we? But uh, yeah, Ubisoft never bothered to fix it. It, all in all fairness, they are busy. You know, they got their hands full, milking Assassin's Creed and shooting themselves in the foot, so, you know. But, yeah, they haven't bothered to fix it all these years, but uh, it was like just the other week, maybe two weeks ago, um, someone um, released a patch to finally fix it. So it's like perfect timing! Just as I'm coming to do the PC version, can you believe that? Timing could have been any better. So I was kind of thinking that if there was no way to get the proper line and shadows, then I couldn't really do the game, so... But now I can, so it's awesome. Alright. Let's drop off here. I gotta get used to these controls. They've kind of switched them a little bit from the first game. So rather than C, which would be to sort of like lift your legs up, it's shift. It's the other way around. Anyway, let's get some night vision on. Oh god! Game looks pretty ugly when I put night vision. Look at that. It looks really low res. What's that about? Anyway, let's go in here. I think we're all clear. Yeah, it's a pretty easy mission to start off with. I used the same lock system as uh, the first game. I didn't think it did. Just that old tap the buttons until the things go up or whatever. Alright, let's go down here. We 
Before you infiltrate the embassy, let me reintroduce DP Brunton, our interagency consultant. He's got an update for the mission. I'll keep it brief. I'm sure you know I'm excited to be part of the team. The Joint Chiefs want this mission kept non-lethal and alarms at flat zero. We can't endanger the hostages. Understood. And with some due respect, leave anything Lambert can say to Lambert. I don't want the voices in my head to become a crowd. Get inside the embassy. This situation is delicate and largely unknown, so walk softly. I don't want to hear non-lethal. Yeah, they changed Lambert's voice actor for this. It's the uh, I forgot the actor's name, but he's the um, he played President Palmer in Twenty Four. It's him. They brought they brought uh, the other guy back, didn't they? For the others. But here we go. This is something they added in this game. The uh, the SWAT turn. You can like sort of like shift cover like that. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I mean, not like some major addition, but it's a nice feature. All right, let's get up behind this guy. Let's grab him. Come on. There we go. Again, the shooting kind of seems off like it was in the first game. I was having a lot of trouble if you watch that walkthrough. But no, that worked. Don't worry, I've not been caught. I don't know why he does that. Music sort of changes, makes it out like you've been busted, but I haven't. I like this night vision because of how low res it looks. It's all jaggy and stuff, but I can't see otherwise. Alright, we're going to watch out here for uh, some mines. Here we go. Slap on the old thermal. So I obviously don't want to go that way. I want to go over. Oh no, or under. Do I want to go under or over? I think I want to go over. Yeah. And we've got some more over here as well. Let's get up there. And then uh, use this uh, beam here to get across. There we go. Alright. I'm going to get up there. I'll do the old uh, split jump thing. And then up again. Oh, how do I do it? Shift to... Oh, oh, hang on a minute. What is this? And then press shift to reach... Oh, there we go. That's the one. Grimm's found you a back door. Avoid the main gate at all cost. Blueprints show an ornamental stream running beneath the entrance. Looks like a viable way in. A little wet's better than a little dead. That stream's your way in. Even if it means moving slowly to minimize your noise level. Fisher, be careful. This village is a walk in the park compared to what needs to be done inside the embassy. Back door and a little wet. Dirty minded people out there. Or maybe it's me that's got the dirty mind. <laughs> right. There oh god. Went through there a bit. Be careful, Fisher. Your yeah. Use of stealth is crucial to this operation. I don't know, Lambert. I messed up, okay? I was excited and I went too fast. Right, I'm not allowed to use lethal force, am I? You see he's got a little little light on his head. So we're just gonna have to uh, do the old sneaker rooney. Knock him out. Okay, he's hidden, isn't he? Yeah. yeah still can't see really that well without the night vision on gonna. Oh, I'm rolling! Alright, let's get this guy. The situation is getting worse in the embassy. They seem to be killing hostages now. I've got a man in my way, Lambert. How flexible is my zero fatality mandate? There's a rock. In fact, we want you to make a new friend. From your onboards, that man looks like one of Sedano's lieutenants. Interrogate him. Find out what he knows about Sedano's defense parameters. The chatter we're sifting sounds bad, but lacks specifics. Details on your opsat. Alright, let's grab him. I'm gonna want to bring him over here as well, so they'll be hidden. Because that guard's gonna come out as well as inside. So let's interrogate him, see what he has to say. I need information. I... I don't speak English. I'd be willing to bet your neck that you do. I know a little English. Good to hear. I'm going inside to meet your friends. Anything I need to worry about? They have guns. 
I'm shocked and amazed. What else? My men planted the mines on our way out. We had to escort... Uh, to defend the village. Escort who? Nothing. Escort who? Ah! Nobody. I, I made a mistake. Escort who? Ah! I don't know his name. Somebody important to Sedano. He's got an American accent and one of his legs is fake. A bald man with dead eyes. A fake leg? Yes. Go ahead and kill me. That's all I know. I would, but I'm not allowed, so you'll sleep. Valum, you there? You have some light? Valum, you hear me? Okay, here comes his friend. There we go. Just in time, actually. It's lit up by the fire, isn't it? So let's just bring him over here. You can actually open doors now. With a body in this game. <laughs> Probably the best feature because it's really annoying how you couldn't do that in the first game. If things are pain in the arse. Alright, let's drop him down. What's that? It's that little, little screen there. It's weird. Anyway, let's head inside. Ah, I can see without my night vision. Whoa, hey, what the hell is that? What is that? I think it's a chicken or something. Right, where the hell am I supposed to be going anyway? Oh, I know where I'm supposed to be. I'm not supposed to be going in here. I'm supposed to be going up this pipe over here. Here we go. The flash notes confirmed there was a hostage situation. Indonesian militants. Yeah, but the hostages are somebody else's game. You're here for information, and especially the information held by Douglas. Shetland's your objective. We need to know how much data was lost. All right, gotta be careful here. There's a guy looking out this window, and we got glass. Extra crunchy glass. Freeze, Fisher. Not a muscle. Sedono is right on top of you. If he sees you, this mission is over. But why me? You won't see me. I, I, I didn't see anything. But did you hear something? No. Just Pandora tomorrow. And then a lot of gibberish. Huh. I couldn't understand any of it. Give me a buzz. I... Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Put one in his head. Shetland safely separated from the others. Absolutely. Kim doesn't open the door unless I radio him. We should break his fingers if we want him to talk. Yes, maybe. But do it quietly. And slowly. Okay. Should be alright now to, uh... Cross over here. There we go, let's watch out again for the glass. Alright, let's climb up this... I'll climb round this thing. Then up it. And shimmy along here. Talk, damn you! Where is it? And through the window. The big ass window. I only have to keep you alive. I don't have to keep you comfortable. Here don't we go. Me. Let's grab this bastard. Take him into this corner. Crack him in the head. Oh, he's got a satchel. Let's grab the satchel. Which was some ammo. Let's talk to this guy. Douglas. It's been a while. Fisher? My god, man, you're getting old. You still in one piece? Where are the rest of the SEALs? I'm working alone. Haven't been Navy for a decade. Then who you with? I'm here on damage control. Just came to smash your computer. 
Thank God. Oh, should I say the CIA? Keep guessing. I tried to destroy it, but who knows how much data they were able to pull down. I've consulted on security for targets all over the world. Who do you work for? Delta? No. Staying anonymous. Uh-huh. Maybe you've got a use for this storage device I pulled off the gorilla I killed. Thanks. How'd you hide it from your guard? Just wash your hands when you're done with it. Sonny Ericsson. Do they still make Ericssons? Did it? Did, did, it oh, was hang on PGP a encrypted. Easy stuff. For all the good it did us, the body text is gibberish. Brunton thinks it's a regional Indonesian dialect. We're looking for a translator. But we got the sender's alias, Mortified Penguin. And four words in the body text, Redbeard, Saulnier, and Springfield. My CIA people came through for us. The dialect is Timorese Mambe. There's an agency bureaucrat working in the embassy, an Indonesian linguist, a woman named Carlson. First name, Ingrid. She's being held in a tower off the garden behind the embassy grounds. Grimm's working on a way to contact her without alerting her guard. Carlson's your next objective. Details on your opset. All right. I was going to say, did they still did they still say Sony on the Xbox version, or did they change that? I don't know. I think there's, yeah, there's a guy here, just on this balcony. I could probably leave him alone. I don't think he ever turns around, but you know why not? I like hitting people in the head. I'm a sick bastard, you know. Right, let's just have a quick check in here. Okay, oh, this is a bad thing. There's a first aid thing over there. Yeah, I don't think the uh, oh god, we'll pick. It. I don't think the first aid kits. You don't get them in your inventory anymore. You just got to use them, I think, when you find them on the wall, so you can't like stash a load. So I guess that makes it a little bit harder, I guess. Yeah, I think that's how it works. Right, hang on a minute. What's um? How do I get me objectives up in that? There's another thing like there was in the first one. I can't remember. I don't know if I need to go and take out the guy in this room where these hostages are. Oh, we'll have a do. I don't think I need to, but there we go. Can I talk to any of them? No, let's uh, shoot out the lights. Just in case. As if these hostages weren't scared enough, I will leave them in the dark. Right, I don't think I needed to go in there, to be honest with you, but... I've done it now. Alright, let's head downstairs. We've got three guys down here. We've got a guy there, and these two guys crouched over there for some reason. Alright, so I don't want to follow this guy. But watch out for those guys. Make sure they don't see me, so let's stick to this cover. Let's do a little, little spin around here. Oh! I thought I was stuck to the cover there, I weren't. Alright, let's stick to the shadows. There's a bottle there as well, I think. If you want to create a distraction. Where's he going? He's off. Right. I think I'm lit up round about there. So I think I best take this light out first. Because I've got a good feeling they'll see me. Again. Screw him. But it's alright. They're not quite onto me yet. Alright, I think we're all clear now. Chances are. Security camera tap shows a lone guard overlooking the next courtyard wearing night vision goggles. There's an automated searchlight they haven't shut down. Should be blinding through night goggles. You're telling me to stay in the light? I said you wouldn't like it. Yes, yeah, so basically to get across here, as you said, you gotta stay in the light. So do the opposite of what you'd normally do. I will get busted. Come on, searchlight. Over, over, come. Follow which one? 
Which one am I going with? Does he not come right here? He comes right over here. Here we go. Get ready to jump into this and then follow it. Here we go. It moves kind of slowish, so it's not too hard to uh, stick to. Come on. Is that the guy with the night vision up there? I think so. Alright, and we are there. Okay. Alright, nearly done with this uh, mission now. Just gotta get upstairs. Oh, what have we got there? Some ammo. Don't particularly need it. Since I can't shoot anyone! The first aid kit there. Alright, there is a. There's the guy up here, isn't there? So let's just. Move slowly. There he is. Wham! He got a satchel on him, has he? Nope, okay. Okay, here we go. Just gonna talk to her now. You must be my blind date. I hope the bit with the flashlight helped. It did, thanks. I'm doing the best I can. This hasn't turned out to be the desk job I was hired for. I'm a word cruncher. Word crunching's what I need, look. Nice PDA. Are you saving up for the color model? Can you read it? It's phonetical mambe. Not a native speaker, but fluent. Gives numbers for a meeting place. 4857 North. 0308 East. 18 hours. The only reference to the location is Solnier. That's not Mambe. It says they're only a few weeks from securing the uh, ingredients for the Springfield demonstration. And that's it. It's signed, Mortified Penguin. Mortified Penguin? Your guess is as good as mine, but I wouldn't recommend guessing. And while you're at it, forget everything you've seen, heard, and said. Are you going to be all right if I leave here? Would you stay if I said no? No. Well done, Fisher. There's a nice synchronicity between those coordinates and the name Saunier. Both match a cryogenics lab in Paris. And we just got word from Delta. They're sending their boys in. Which means you're off the leash. Merry Christmas, Fisher. Shoot all the gorillas you like. You have a quick exit downstairs at the base of the tower. Cohen is waiting for you in the village. The Osprey can't land in the village. Cohen's afraid of being too good a target. Cut the power from all the spotlights in the village. They'll fly as low as possible to pick you up at the end of the pier. Okay, now I can shoot just for these final little section here. Alright, we've got a guy right here. Probably best way for him to come back. There's another guy down there as well. Yeah, I think I gotta shut the power off, which are on these towers here, these little watchtower things. Again, watch the aim screw me over. Watch, just watch. Oh, it didn't. Wow. Is he hidden there? Yeah, I think so. Alright, let's get up this thing. Oh! Try being clever there, jumping onto the ladder. Didn't work. Embarrassed myself. Alright. Switch that off. Ow! Alright, we've got to get this guy. We've got him kind of lit up here, aren't I? Ah! Alright. Switch that one off. I think that's all of them, just the two, right? I think. Now we can uh, leave. And there we go, there's the extraction point. And we are out of here. Alright. Mission complete. I guess there you go, that's the first mission done of Pandora tomorrow. So as usual guys, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.